Okay, for this project, I'm using Lion Brand. It's Hometown USA. It's uh, a bulky, bulky yarn. Or chunky or bulky. As you can see. Um, it don't have to be this brand, but any kind of like bulky yarn will work. It's number six bulky. And there's 81 yards per skein, and I'm using a total of four skeins. And the color that I have is Honolulu Pink. And I'm going to be use, using a size N, which is a 9mm crochet hook. Okay, you want to go ahead and start off with a chain of 60. And then without twisting your chain, we're going to follow it down and we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch and it's going to form one large ring. Like that. So that's the the neck. Now, if um, you put this around like your neck and you feel like it's too snug for you or too loose for you, you can adjust the size. Just make sure whatever your chain amount is, it's a multiple of three, which means that whatever chain number you make has to be divisible by three like I did 60 and three will go into 60 evenly so that's what that's what that means that's what multiples mean but so I started out with a chain of 60 now I'm going to start with chain of three and that's going to count as my first double crochet and now I'm going to go around and I'm going to put one double crochet in every single stitch for the <clears throat> entire length of the ring. Just like this. So by the time we make it all the way back around to the beginning, we should have a total, counting that chain three, of 60 stitches. Unless you did a, a different number than me, but 60 is what we're going to work with since that's what I did. Just like that. So I'm going to continue one double crochet in every stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back up here at the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around to the beginning, you want to count and make sure that you have 60 stitches all together counting this chain three. And if you do, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the this chain three, the third stitch of this chain three. Like that. So now we're going to start again by chaining three, and that's going to count as our first double crochet. So we're going to go to the next stitch, and we're going to put a double crochet in it. So what we have is two double crochets in a row. Now the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets in the same stitch which is going to be our increase stitch. So we're going to go in and we're going to put one double and go back in and put another one, two doubles, like that. So now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, so one here and one here. And then the next stitch, two double crochets in the same stitch. That'll be our increase stitch. So one in there, and then go back in and put one more. Like that. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One. Two. And the next stitch will be an increase two double crochets and the same stitch. So that's the pattern we're going to work all the way around. So we're just going to repeat that until we get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around, after that round, you should have a total of 80 stitches. So if you count it and you have 80, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three, like that. And then we'll chain three again, 
one, two, three, and that's our first double crochet. Now this time we're going to put three double crochets in a row, and then we'll put our increase stitch. So this is our first one. So we'll go ahead and go to the next stitch and double. And then we'll go to our next one and put one double. So counting that chain three, we got three double crochets in a row. So the next stitch, we'll go ahead and make our increase stitch and we'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. Like that. So then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one in that one. One in the next one. And then one in the next. So that's three double crochets in a row. And the next one will be our increase stitch. Go ahead and put two double crochets in the same stitch. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. And when you get back to the beginning, you should have a total of 100 stitches. Okay, I made it back around. And again, I'm just going to end the round by slip stitching in the top of my beginning chain three. Now I'm going to do one more row of increases. So I'm going to start with the chain three. Counts as my first double crochet. Now this time I'm going to put four double crochets in a row and then a double crochet increase. So this is my first one. I'm going to go to the next stitch. Put one. The next stitch, one, and then the next stitch. So that's four in a row, counting that chain three. And then the next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets in the same stitch. That will be my increase. Okay, again, I'm going to put one double crochet in each. Oh, my yarn went on top of my camera. One double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So, it's one, two, three, and four. Four in a row. And then my next stitch will be my increase stitch. Two double crochets in the same stitch. So we're just going to repeat that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 120 stitches. Okay, at the end of that row, go ahead and slip stitch into your beginning chain three. And that will end round one, two, three, round four. Okay, now you want to chain three. And now from here on out, we're just going to put one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. No more increasing. Just one double in every stitch. You can actually do that for as many rows as you want. But I'm going to do three rounds of one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, I made it back around. At the end of my third row of just one double crochet in every stitch. So that brings me for a total of seven rows. And remember, you can always make it bigger if you want. And I went ahead and slip stitched into the top of my chain three. And now I'm going to go ahead and clip this off for now. And can hide, I'm going to hide that tail. I'll do that here in just a little bit. But now I'm going to work on the... Um, the neck of it, the collar or whatever you want to call it. So what we want to do, since I'm going to fold the, the neck of it down to make it like a turtleneck or, or kind of, um, I'm going to work my stitches wrong side out, on the wrong side. That way when I fold the neck down, it'll, the stitches will be on the right side, if that makes sense. So go ahead and put your wrong side of your work facing you, because that's where we're going to work. And you can start in any stitch that you want. I'll probably just start over here towards the beginning. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start off with a chain 
of two and that chain of two I'm sorry chain of three and that chain of three is going to count as a double crochet so in the next stitch I'm going to be working around the post and I'm going to do a front post triple crochet so I'm going to yarn over twice for a triple and I'm going to go around the post not the top of the stitch the whole post like that and now I'll do my triple crochet just like this like that and now I want to work in the next stitch and I'm going to do a regular double crochet in the top in the top of the next stitch like that now the next stitch is going to be the front post triple again so I'll yarn over twice go around the post like that and work my triple crochet so it's the same as a regular triple you're just working it around the post like that now the next stitch double crochet in the top Like that. The next stitch is the front post triple crochet. So yarn over twice and around the post triple crochet. Well, my yarn keeps splitting. And now the next stitch is a regular double crochet in the top. So that's the pattern that you want to repeat all the way around the whole the whole top it's the whole neck area until you get back to the beginning okay once you make it back to the beginning I just ended in a front post triple crochet you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three just like that and now what we're going to be doing is just repeating that row for several rows so we'll start again by chaining three and that counts as a double crochet. Now the next stitch is going to be a front post triple. And it's going to be the round the post of the previous front post triple. So this one right here. Just wrap twice and go around the post of it. And triple crochet. And then the next one is a double crochet in the top of this double crochet. And then front post triple around this previous triple crochet. So it's the same thing that we just did. We're just making sure we're keeping the same stitches lined up. So wherever there was a front post triple, that's where another one has to be. Wherever there was a double crochet, that's where the next one has to be. Double crochet. And then front post triple. double crochet front post triple so I'm going to do this and I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do several rows probably of this repeat and I'll let you know here in just a few minutes how many total rows of this that I do okay I've run ahead and done a total of eight rows of these um, double crochet and back post triple crochet and at the end of my eighth row, I'm just going to go around and put one row of single crochet. Okay, I, after I slip stitched into my chain three to end that the eighth round there, I'm going to go ahead and chain one. And now I'm going to go around. Sorry, it's at a bad angle, but I'm just going to go around and put one single crochet in the, every stitch. So right here in the top of this uh, front post triple crochet. and then just all the way around the entire top piece just like that just to clean up the edges yeah. like that and then when I get done I'm just going to slip stitch into that chain one and tie off and hide my tails okay now I'm putting up fringe around the bottom and you don't have to do this if you don't want to but if you do, I'm actually only using one piece and tying it on. 
but you can use more than one if you want. You can put three or four of them together, depending on how thick you want your fringe to be. But I cut a piece probably about uh, 15 inches long. And then with the back side of your work still facing you, you just kind of grab a stitch at the bottom and pull your oh, pull your piece your piece of yarn through like that and you have this loop up here and get your two ends even and you just pull your ends through like that that's all there that's all there is to that it's really easy and I'm going to do that all the way I'm going to do every other stitch but you can space them out however you want to okay once you get done putting all the fridge on if you decided to put fringe um, it's finished that's all there is to it so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and you can always come and check me out on Facebook I'll put a link to my Facebook page below in the description box and until next time have a good day